เริ่มยอเซียโอ้ยนั่นจงได้ยินชิ้นนี้ว่าสนิทาเจ้ยไอ้สวีร์กูรู้สลิปยูกูรู้สลิปว่าสภาพเป็นแบรนด์นิวเว็บเดอร์สอาบเดอการ์ดออปชั่นส์ถ้าเกิดเสร็จไอ้สักเนี่ย Dude, why is Dice Studios always? Who is this? It's Diane, huh? <laughs> I swear it's Diane. <laughs> Diane's always up. Hey guys. So, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about stuff. About stuff. Why am I always live at midnight? I don't know. Cause I'm always chilling at midnight, not really doing anything. <laughs> It's about sleep. I woke up because of bad dream. That's good. I mean, that's not good. I mean, yeah. Jay, where your face be, boo? My face is right in front of the camera. Start in my room. <laughs> Do you like Mitski? What's Mitski? <laughs> How was your day? My day was great. I got to announce the uh, the thingy that I was talking about for my birthday. So that's gonna be cool. <laughs> With Jade, I wanted to announce it earlier, but <laughs> didn't really have an opportunity. I kind of just went with it today. Didn't really ask anybody. I was just like, alright, gonna do it. Did it. <laughs> It's kind of how I've been living my life. You know what you realize when you you live your life thinking about other people's feelings and other people and like what other people want before yours for seven years, you realize that they don't care, and that the greater good is always gonna be the greater good. And justice is justice, and you gotta do what's right. And people don't want to take responsibility for things that can go wrong. So sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and just do it. That's what I realized. Maki, why are you? Why are you? <laughs> why are you on my life? <laughs> Aren't you guys still playing games? <laughs> What the heck? I didn't even know you knew who I was. Oh my goodness! <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Let's see if we do. Do you think fishes can see air? Wait, isn't that question supposed to be? Do you think fishes can see water? True. It's like 1 p.m. right now, so why not? Exactly. Why not? But anyway, after having lived a very long time, only thinking about, um, like I I put this on my life, like doing things for for the betterment of other people. I realized that I can do more good for the world. Um, doing what I do best in the in the form that I do it best in, so I've stopped asking people, and I've just started doing. <laughs> I'm not really too concerned about people's opinions anymore. And you know what? You know what's really interesting about that, is that you you th you would think that when you stop being concerned about what people think about you, that you become this belligerent character, that you become. Um, more hated by the people in your surrounding, uh, because you're being the real you. But in actuality, it's really freeing, and people like you. People end up liking you for you, and that becomes a new form of confidence. And then you know what also happens? What also happens is people actually see your capabilities and stop undermining you, because you're always talking when when you're. 
when you're still in in a stance or form where you're doing things for other people and being careful you you stop being able to do and work at your full potential i don't know this this is just for me though i'm i'm just tired of i'm just tired of people being scared of change and people not wanting to take responsibility for things that could cause a positive reaction or a negative reaction. You know, I'm I have always been ready to work and work hard for a positive reaction, but you know, people aren't getting paid more. People aren't getting benefits because we succeed or we do better. I don't blame them. I get it. At the end of the day, it's your job, it's your friends, it's your family, it's whatever. But look, when it comes down to it, your life is yours. And if you can make a positive change, doing what you do best with what you know best, then why not do it? Why do you have to concern yourself with what other people think about you or what other people think about what your decisions are? How are they going to know what's in your head? No one is going to be able to fully understand what exactly what you're thinking, you know what I mean? Like, like if, like, let's say, for example, I smoked, I spoke to the smartest person in the world and I tried to explain to him exactly how I was feeling about a certain topic, he wouldn't be able to understand it because emotions aren't understandable. You know what I'm saying? He would probably be able to understand the logic behind what I'm trying to say if I convey it to him in the correct manner. If I make it plausible and like under, understood. But how is he ever going to gauge the amount of passion that I actually have for what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? Dude, end of end of the honestly, end of the line is no one is gonna take care of you except you. And if you wanna use your platform to help people, you better do it. Because other people are gonna try to block you off because they don't wanna get in trouble, or they're gonna block you off uh because because they think they're doing the right or I I don't know. Usually I ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the cases that I'm talking about that I've been in while working in this industry, is that they just don't want to take responsibility. There's no point for them. There's no benefit in it for them. All they see is losses because what they see are numbers. But you know what? I've taken so many chances and I've succeeded in a lot of chances. It feels really, really good too when they tell you that you can't do it and then you do it and it does better than what people think it was gonna do. I don't know. It just it just feels good. It feels good, man. I'm spitting straight facts. I am not sad. I am just saying I am going to do what I'm passionate about, which is music, and I'm gonna further the agenda of topics that I feel need furtherment. You know, I'm doing this project with Jed because I feel like before I wasn't educated about this and then it hit me like a truck and I got screwed over for it. I couldn't do anything for like two months of my life due to the fact that I was undereducated and didn't know what I was dealing with. So I'm hoping that through this project, maybe, just maybe, I can help one person, two people, three people, a hundred people, just, just let them understand that these kinds of things exist and that they can be vocal about it. They don't have to be ashamed because it's not something that's, that's, that, that undermines your credibility. Even though so many people make it seem like it is. No, it's normal. I talked about this. What kind of example are we supp we're supposed to be role models, right? What kind of freaking examples are we if we only show our perfect moments where we're only looking good, only saying the right things, only looking the right way, only being only being the perfect, perfect instrument? You know what kind of message that spreads to people and the kids who look up to us or 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 idolize us or even though I always say don't make me a role model because I'm not worthy of that. But the people who do regardless Showing them perfection makes them feel like they are strange if they aren't perfect. 
You get what I'm saying? If we only show you our best moments and kids grow up watching that and one day they have a day that's not their best moment. They lash out at someone. They fight with someone. They give in to their anger. They, I don't know, something hits them the wrong way. They don't feel good. They get anxious. They get depressed. After having seen those only those perfect moments, after having idolized those kinds of people, what's the first thing that's going to pop into the head? Oh no, this is wrong. But you know what? It's not. It's normal. Everybody has a sucky day. It's freaking normal. And it really, really, really pisses me off that some people try to act like every day is perfect for them. Because that undermines the the 99.9999 rest of everyone else who don't have those perfect days every day. It really does. Because to me, that's lying to my face. And I don't like liars. You know what I'm talking about? Does that make sense? I'm kind of going off right now, but I don't know. It just it just really, really, really frustrates me that sometimes we're like, especially like in K-pop, we're put in a position where they're telling us like, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta look this way, you gotta you gotta seem this way, you gotta seem decent. And I'm like, why can't we just be human beings? Why do people have to be perfect? Why can't we have opinions? Just past the fact that that's not setting a good example for our future generation, do you really think people believe that at the end of the day we're perfect? Do you think there's people out there that actually believe in their head that idols are perfect? That there's not one thing wrong with them? Look, I'll tell you what. Bring me one person that has never sinned in their life. Just tell me a name of a person that has not sinned in their life other than Jesus. And I will give you my life savings. I will do it off the bat. Straight up. If you have never sinned in your life, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, you are the second coming of Christ. And we are going to heaven anyway, so I won't even need money. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm just, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of everything. Everyone always is trying to make it seem like everything has to be perfect. It's not. We all know the truth that it's not. So why are we acting like it is? Everyone just be a human being for once. Dang, I'm really turning up. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, like I, I know it's super cringy, and it might be a little, it might be a little over. It, it might be a statement that's overplayed out, but the imperfections are what make you who you are. You know what I mean? Remember, I, I tweeted this out a long time ago. Let your emotions remind you that you're alive. Right. And those emotions aren't always great emotions. You may be going through a hard time with your family, a loved one, friends, life, um, whatever it is. Or it could it could be joyous occasions. It could be monumental, pivotal moments in your life where you're feeling great joy or great pain. But the thing is, I think we should be happy with the fact that we feel that emotion. Because if you aren't feeling that emotion, you're not alive. Feel alive. It sucks. It sucks not passing that class. It sucks having to fight with your siblings. It sucks when your parents tell you not to do something you really wanted to do. 
It sucks when you broke up with your significant other. It sucks when your boss tells you no. It sucks when people try to impede you. It sucks when you're the person who's who's in the right, but everyone shuns you. Life's bad sometimes. But just remember that at the end of the day, you're able to feel these emotions. You're able to feel that anger and you're able to feel that frustration due to the fact that you're still living on this earth. And then that segues into you have another day for a better experience. To make the right choices the next time you do it. To not give that friend your homework. To, to not hang out with those kids that caused trouble or caused you trouble. To study better for the next test. To not yell back at your mom when she gets mad at you. There's always a second chance. Everyone gets a second chance. That's why it really frustrates me sometimes too. Like especially with all this cancel culture stuff too. Because everyone messes up. And I get it. Some things are more harsh than others. I I don't condone anyone's actions. All I'm saying is before we look at others with hatred, let's take a look in the mirror and see if we have a right to evaluate other people. That's all I'm saying. No one's perfect. No one should try to be perfect. Normal people aren't perfect. Idols aren't perfect. Nobody is perfect. So why are we trying to keep up this facade like everything is always a-okay and then all these articles pop out all of a sudden and everyone's popping off on people. Like even the people popping off on other people in the comments of like articles I see. Who are you to judge? Are you Jesus Christ? Have you never sinned in your life? And I get it for some, for some horrendous and disgusting things I've seen. I'm going to have to say that I am also guilty of judging. And even cursing about these kinds of people. Because the world is a crazy place filled with crazy things. But I'm just saying for like the most part. Nobody's perfect. Let's try to remember that, yeah? I think we forget that too often. You know what I mean? We see someone do something crazy. Like I don't want I don't want to say any names. I don't want to talk about any specific anything specific. And once again, I reassure you, I see a lot of crazy crazy things happen and I'm guilty of this too of judging people and being like, "Wow, that's that's absolutely disgusting." Never in my life would I have imagined I would see an article like this. Like I've seen some crazy things this year. But also for for some minor other minor events, they're less severe. Like, I see people, like, this drives me crazy. I, I've i seen the comment electric chair on, on a post about a feud between a group members. Like, are you serious? Do you know what that means? You're literally agreeing to the death of somebody due to a situation that you don't even know about? Are you kidding me? Like, guys, we can't... And I'm sure that it's kids that are talking like this because they've seen it, because they think it's funny, because they think it's okay. Because as much as... As much as you guys think that idols are the only role models or actors and singers and celebrities are the only role models or older brothers and mothers and fathers are the only role models... You, f- you forget to realize that everyone on the internet that makes you laugh or that makes you feel a certain emotion, whether it's good or bad, is a role model and is in fact molding the youth's mind. So if they see a bunch of comments that say electric chair, at one point in their mind, they might start to think that that's an okay comment to say and it's not. It's not. I'm sick of this toxic culture. 
Like, stop it. What's wrong with y'all? I mean, I'm, I'm part of it too, not gonna lie. Like I've said, I've seen articles and I've, I've hella super hard judged people. Like, I was talking to my friend Simon, and I was like, I, this, is, this is disgusting. I can't believe this is a thing. I was talking to 220. He was like, he was like man, if this happened to my family, mm -mm. and I was like, I agree. That's not happened. But all I'm saying, guys, and I repeat this once again, with as much, I don't, I don't know how to say it. Let's just, let's try to be respectful, man. No one is innocent. No one has not done something wrong. That's it. That's the moral of the story today. I agree. It's gotten, it's gotten, it's become a trend to be toxic and offensive. Why? Why is this okay? I don't understand how this is okay. It just, it makes me so mad. I don't know. It just, it just frustrates me so much that we're bringing up our generations and we're, we're letting them see this ugly side of society that, that shouldn't be visible for them to learn from. Why are we setting such a, such a disgusting example for our future? If this continues, and it, it's going to get worse and worse, because obviously the generations preceding the previous generations exponentially grow cultures, right? And I'm assuming that cancel culture and all that stuff is going to get worse. Who's going to be left in the end? I don't, I don't understand. It's just, it's just not necessary. And there's so much going on in the world. It's like, why, why are we doing this to ourselves? Why are we lying to people? Why are we trying to act like we're perfect? Why are we discriminating against other people because of skin color? How does that even make sense? It doesn't. I don't understand. I just don't understand. There's no logic to it. That's what I'm saying. The internet is tainting poor children to thinking these things. Yes. By putting those comments, I guess this isn't so much for the youth listening to this, but for the young adults and the adults. If we're, if we're enabling this and just sitting by, or even worse, are the ones commenting these kinds of things and showing the youth, exposing them to this kind of culture, we're manifesting we're literally, we're literally growing hate in our youth so that our future is filled with more hate. Is that, is that what we want as human beings? Is that what we're trying to do? Are we just trying to end this world with hate and suffering caused by our own anger towards one another? I don't think that's what anybody wants. This makes me so mad, man. Like, sorry, I don't know why I went off today on today's life. I was I was just popping in to say goodnight, but now I'm like super awake. That I just make it just makes me so frustrated and mad. And I know some people are gonna be like, you shouldn't say this. You're a public figure. You're gonna get hate, dude. I'm not perfect. And I want you, and these are my thoughts. 
if you can educate me and there's something that I'm not educated in, I'm saying something wrong, and you can tell me what's going on, and I can logically understand that, I will 100% apologize. I'm not afraid to admit that I've made mistakes. I've made many mistakes in my life. So many that I wouldn't be able to count them. And this may be another, but these are just my thoughts on current society. Can someone give me context? There's no context. We're just talking about everything. We're just talking about the world and the state that it is. And people just being hateful to other people just to be hateful and for it to become a trend, especially on social media, just because that's where I monitor constantly and that's where I'm present. I'm just so sick of it. I don't know. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions, yes. But don't don't feed our younger yet our younger generation. Our, our literally our literal future hate before they even learn what love is. Before they learn what friendship is. Before they learn what other other more important ideals are. And before they solidify their character. Don't. Don't let their youth be brought up on a culture. That popular. That popular. That popularizes hate. That makes you the cool kid. That's basically just making you the cool kid for bullying someone in school. And we know that's wrong. Logically tell me. Somebody tell me that's right. It's not. Yeah, the people being edgy for the sake of it. Just not worth it, man. Agreed. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Or as long as that opinion doesn't disregard or disrespect someone else's existence. Yes. 100%. People feel powerful through hate? You think so? That's... That's... That's so sad. That's so sad. I don't know, man. How do you confront someone who is a bully knowing that they bully from insecurities? I don't know. How do you confront someone that's a bully? Just tell them to stop. If they don't stop, they keep bullying you. Huh, that's a hard question. I guess that's case by case. I would do whatever is in my power to make that person understand, like, I don't appreciate this. And this has to stop. You know what I mean? People feel superior when they talk about others' mistakes. Is that really a thing? Do you think people feel superior when they talk about other people's mistakes? Does that make people feel better? Wow. As a kindergarten teacher, I can say this culture has been getting to the kids too. That's exactly what I'm saying. The toxicity in today's culture, especially social media being so booming and everybody having a platform to speak. Like, cool, have your opinions. But just don't, don't, don't let negative things affect our youth and our future. Let them have a chance at success. You're literally taking away things from them by exposing them to this kind of kind of behavior, this irrationality. It's not funny when you comment 
electric chair on someone's on someone's article. It's not. And as much as I want to go through every comment, retweeting it and blasting off on them, I don't. Which is also weird. Why don't I do that? I don't know. I guess I'm not being honest to myself about that too. But I, I don't want to like, I don't want to affect them either. You know, I don't want them to have a sucky day because they think they made a joke. See, that's my point. They think they made a joke and they think that's a socially acceptable joke. It's not. We need to stop teaching them that. You think they just one day they were growing up and they just randomly thought of the words electric chair and put that on a post? No, they saw it from someone. They heard it from someone. And who do you think that person heard it from? Someone older. And who do you think that, that person heard it from? Someone older. It's a chain. Let's stop it. We just need to chill out, take a step back and realize that no one's perfect. Doxing just because of a fan war, I don't really get. I don't even know what doxing is. I remember I posted a photo of myself and someone started saying racist things for no reason, not to mention I also have insecurities. Yeah. Like, why, why, why are we gonna hate people? Why can't we just, if you have, like, I don't know, I'm guilty of this too, and I say things sometimes that are mean, but like, yeah, I'm gonna try to live by this as well. If you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it. I think I think that's that's the rule. Like I'm pretty sure I have a problem with this. I have a real problem with this too. But I think if that's if we could live by if everyone could live by that, the world would be so much just cleaner. You know what I mean? Everyone wants to me wants me to be perfect and always says that I'm different. I can't do anything. But Ray my point is, what if what if perfection is how you are already? What if that's exactly what you were meant to be? What if you're already perfect and the people around you just don't understand that you're perfect? You know what I mean? What if that's the truth? What if, what if that's the missing ingredient? What if perfection... No. We've, this has, uh, wait, wait, what? That's what we've been saying this whole time. Imperf your, imperf your imperfections are what make you you. Your emotions make you feel alive. Let your emotions remind you that you feel alive. Yeah. Your imperfections are what make you perfect. Why is no one understanding that? It's literally written in every love song ever written. You are the perfect version of yourself when you're happy with yourself. Not when the person sitting next to you thinks that you're, you're beautiful or good looking or really good at something or, or think you're quote unquote perfect. You're the perfect, most capable, 10 out of 10 version of yourself when you're happy with yourself. Dude, I don't even know how I got here. It sounds like a podcast. I'm gonna stop. I, <laughs> I'm I'm popping off too much. It's too late. My brain isn't working. I may have thought a lot. I may have thought a lot of things that I'm gonna regret tomorrow in the morning. But whatever. We're not perfect. Let's just try to remember that. Have a good night.